Hi, in this episode of Healthy Bites, we're going to talk about the concept of chrononutrition. My name is Dr. Melanie Newkirk, and I'm a registered dietitian with the Healthy Weight Initiative here at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. Today, we're going to talk about the concept of the time that you eat being just as important as what you eat, and this is called chrononutrition. Chrononutrition is the timing of your meals in relationship to your circadian clock, something that controls all of your biological functions. This includes when you feel hungry, when you feel satisfied, when you're tired and when you're awake. Um, And your circadian clock also controls your metabolism, your energy level, your body temperature, and even when you feel hungry. Your circadian rhythm is normally controlled by parts of your body, such as your genes and your hormones, but there's a lot of external influences that uh, change your circadian rhythm, and these are called zeitgebers. So that word is here. So zeitgeber makes me think of a lightsaber. So when you think about a lightsaber giving a Jedi power, the zeitgeber gives your circadian rhythm power. And these are external cues, such as exposure to light. It's um, when you're eating, and it's also things such as when you exercise. So these Zeitgebers have the power to um, control your circadian rhythm. So it's really important that we pay attention to things like when we're eating, because if we're eating at the times that aren't really uh, biologically um, the best, it can actually change your metabolism. And what we have found is that if you're eating at times that aren't traditional, that maybe aren't the times that your body is used to eating, your metabolism can slow. And even when eating less, you could um, bur- um, not burn as many calories. It's associated with um, abnormal processing of components of your diet, such as calories, carbohydrates, and fats. Um, And it can be uh, associated with higher rates of obesity and weight gain. When you think about eating patterns, historically people would be awake during the daylight hours and that's when they would eat their meals. And then at night when it gets dark, that's when you're asleep. But many things about our lifestyle has changed. Many meals are consumed outside of the home and away from the family setting. Um, The timing of meals has become very different. And uh, what this has led to is just a difference in how we're able to manage our eating habits. Um, Concepts such as um, irregular meals, um, the timing of your meals, and even the frequency of your meals all have been shown through research to influence your circadian clock and your circadian rhythm. So things such as skipping meals can impact your circadian rhythm, um, irregular frequency, so uh, maybe eating a lot of meals one day and then eating less meals another day, and then also late night eating. Those all influence your circadian rhythm and then your metabolism. So what are some of the take home messages? Well, first of all, we uh, recommend that you start with a healthy breakfast every day and then avoid skipping meals. You want to eat at regular times, and ideally, the um, dinner meal would be consumed in the early evening hours. So the early evening hours are 5 to 7 p.m. And then the other thing to think about is late night eating. Late night eating is is generally to be avoided. Um, It's really best for your health if your last meal is consumed in those early evening hours. So remember, your your circadian clock is a 24-hour phase. So during that time, you're going to be eating and sleeping, but you're eating and you're meals should be consistent. Um, They should start in the morning and end by the early evening and no late night eating and uh, don't skip meals. That's our take home message today on Healthy Bites to maintain a healthy circadian rhythm. And remember, chrononutrition relates to the timing of when you're eating.